Our cities are hotter than surrounding rural areas. This is the urban heat island effect. 高温热浪侵袭全球，从美洲、欧洲到亚洲，气温没有最高，只有更高。受热岛效应影响，让都市人更不愿出门。Heat is amplified due to the different types of materials that you would commonly find in the city: asphalt, concrete. Reflective building services. 城市区域比其周边环境更为炎热，因为城市结构、建筑材料、反射日照的程度不同，比植被吸收更多的热量。美国建筑专家利用工具观察测量，城市正在被炙热烘烤。The drone moves in an automated, pre-calculated path, takes tons of photos of a streetscape, about 2,400, 2,200 photos. 相较政府和机构使用卫星来测量区域性热分布，无人机具有空间机动性与数据连续性，以往局限，搭载红外线等感测装置，能更精密采集环境资讯。The air temperature on this day was 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Shaded concrete was 89. Exposed concrete 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But black bitumen rooftops are measuring upwards of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Beef is considered cooked well done at 160 degrees. 摊开研究数据，全球极端高温致死率增加高达七成四。去年夏天，光在欧洲就有六点二万人热死。Use this toolkit in the future. We can then fight the urban heat island effect with vast tree coverage, lighter pavement, and white. Or even green roofs. 就怕未来更热，现在就要想办法降温，结合运用科技，打造更适合人类生存的环境。三立新闻陈佩报道。